Our big story at 530 Orlando's restaurant scene is mourning the death of a popular chef who was killed in a motorcycle accident. Colleagues of George Foss and fans of his restaurants are in shock. As Fox 35's Valerie Boy found out, his family is being surrounded by support. Behind the stove is a feeling of sorrow at Tori Tori and Domu as workers mourn the loss of chef George Foss Jr. His friend Alex Lorenzo explains. He's impacted us in so many ways, just having a great heart, just being a great chef, being a great co-worker. But last week, Polk County deputies say 35-year-old Foss was on his motorcycle when he crashed into a car along Highway 27 and was killed. I couldn't keep myself together. A bunch of... A bunch of emotions flow through me. Chef Tyler Etavanza and Alex would see George every day and called themselves the Three Musketeers. They're heartbroken over the loss of their friend and co-worker. He would stop what he's doing and make everyone food. He was such a genuine person. He was all about making people happy. But now his co-workers say it's their turn to prepare something for George. That's why the owner of these restaurants created a GoFundMe to raise money for George's funeral and family. The goal is 65000 Um... 40,000 of that going towards his daughter's college fund. I think those are nice people. George's eight-year-old daughter, Annabella, is sad. He is the best dad ever. We asked his friends what they'll miss most about George. His laugh. <laughs> his laugh was so loud, it was contagious. His dumb, piercing laugh is just so contagious. <laughs> so that's what your dad's laugh is like. Yeah, but very loud. loud. Annabella says her dad was a prankster and will miss laughing at his funny jokes. George's friends are determined to keep his legacy alive with his creative cuisine. His food is more comforting. You know, whenever you eat his food, you feel good.